Hello, dear friends! Hi, everyone! Welcome to Smart English with Jenny White. It is a channel that offers teaching tips, songs and games for you, most talented teachers in the world. Our channel has got nearly 6,000 subscribers from all over the world. Morocco, Mexico, the USA, Vietnam, Russia, the Ukraine and many other countries. Where are you from? Let me know in the comments and let's be friends! So, dear friends, today we're going to speak about writing in the English classroom. If your students enjoy writing, then you can just leave yes in the comments and close this video. But if your students find writing boring and unrewarding, try our writing carousel or merry-go-round. It is a three-in-one solution. Your students will practice vocabulary, they will revise past simple and past continuous, and they will have a lot of laughter and fun. Step number one. Before you begin, brainstorm types of films and their characteristic features. Try to elicit as many types of films as you can. Focus on several most popular types of films and go into details. For example, horror film. When do the events usually happen? At night? On Halloween? Where? In a forest? In an old castle? At school? Who are the characters? Teenagers, monsters, zombies, action verbs, escape, run, follow, drink blood. Step number two. Now tell your students that today you are going to write the storylines for the new blockbusters. Give every student an A4 piece of paper. Ask them to write down full answers to your questions and warn them not to show their answers to their friends. Now ask your students the first question. What's the name of the film? Give them 30 seconds to write down their answer at the top of the piece of paper. Then show them how to hide their answer by folding the paper like this. Next, tell your students to give their story to a friend sitting next to them. Student 1 to student 2, student 2 to student 3. And in this way, the stories will start traveling around the classroom like on a merry-go-round. Ask the other questions one by one. After every question, the students should hide their answers by folding the paper and pass it to a friend. Due to the fact that the students have absolutely no idea about the story they have to continue, their storylines will be really unpredictable. Every story will be unique because it will be written by eight different students. When they finish with the last question, they can read their story to the class. There is usually a lot of fun and laughter, especially if in the story there are people they know, like friends, teachers or celebrities. For example, look at this story that I copied for you. My students enjoyed it a lot. Tell your students to give a score for every story they listen to. How funny is it? How logical? How unpredictable or boring? This task will make them listen more attentively. Well, 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 well. Now, as a follow-up activity, you should discuss the results with your students. So, which storyline was the funniest? Which one was the most boring? And which one is the most unpredictable? You can choose the best storyline for role-playing it later to develop speaking skills. Who loves English drama? I love English drama. Do you love drama and role plays? If you do, don't forget to leave in the comments the word drama and I will give you hundreds of different tips of advice how you can use them in your English classroom. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. 
and smash the notification button to stay up to date with my videos. Love you. See you soon on the channel Smart English with Jane White.